Sweet. Had a good weekend away down in Southampton, Portsmouth. And I ordered something nearly a week ago, actually. From uh, Hong Kong. Um, some things I've waited forever, some things haven't turned up. So, uh, it was a risky business. And it said import tax payable. So I was expecting to pay the import tax. I've just came in, I've just drove down to pick up another car for the brother-in-law. And I literally haven't stopped driving for the past God knows how many days. Uh, I haven't slept, just done nothing but drive. So, what I've been waiting for, I'm going to try to unbox and pack here with my one hand. The new antenna for my Baofan UV5R. Um, these antenna, uh, diamond something, yeah, diamond, RH771, jaw band. Um, doesn't work too well on the 446 network um, frequency, um, but it should be a vast improvement. People have said, like, they couldn't hear people uh, with a standard rubber duck antenna, and then when they've bought this thing, um, they've heard everything, um, stuff they couldn't hear. So, we'll get the other one out and compare it. Um, actually, it's about to say, not that I know where it is. No, we'll find it. Right, back in a sec. Found it. Right, here's the UV5R. Don't know where the fist mic's gone. It's probably on the desk somewhere. Um, oh, crikey, big difference, big difference. Look at that. One, two, definitely three times the size. Don't quite on the megahertz, but it covers uh, two meters and 70 cm. Oh, there it is. Uh, from 144 to 430. Um, yeah, 120, from 120 to 150, for 2 metres, and it'll do the um, 70 cm, 300 to 450 megahertz, so we'll see 450 megahertz, doesn't do 4, oh right, I swear it, on the advert it said it didn't go up to 4, 4, 6, oh well, so that should work for PMR2, and also 800 and 900 megahertz, I can't remember what that is, I think that's... I don't know what band that is, I can't remember, but I think possibly my other antenna is a tri-band. But I only want this for 2 metres. Um, I mainly only use 2 metres and of course uh, 446 on a, on a Sunday afternoon. Right, let's open it up. Just in case you are thinking about getting one of these import things from Hong Kong, I think I paid like £2.90 for it. Um, and like £2.00 PMP. And um, probably about eighteen pound over here. Yeah, yeah, I've heard this. People say this before. It's a bit of a gap, Millim two millimeter gap. So you need a rubber washer in there, um, just to stop dust from getting in. But I remember people are saying actually on YouTube and first hand someone else I know has got one of these. But the inner and the outer, yep, still fine. So I'll have to find a, a rubber washer just to close up that gap. Dust will get in there because I need switch cleaner on my volume switch because it's scratchy. Mode. If I open a squelch up. It's quite scratchy, there's obviously a lot of dust got on. Well I did buy it cheap for a reason. So how cheap it was, I dropped it out of the car yesterday. <laughs> and the little UV five R metal plate fell off the front at the bottom obviously it didn't stick back down but I don't want to go and buy an expensive handset or see if I'm going to be using it portable because if this does break the volume knackers on it or if I dropped it on here I've dropped handsets before and it snapped all the plastic here and broke all the internal parts I wouldn't be too bothered with a Baofeng but if I broke a Kenwood or something else I'd be a bit upset Right, let's put that somewhere safe because I'll be sticking that on later. There we go. The UV5R with the extended battery and the extended antenna. There's the old antenna. There's the new one. I'll be trying it out later tonight. I'll try and get a few QSOs with some local boys. Because uh, I have trouble getting onto my local 
club net on two meters with this thing in the back garden. People just can't hear me. Um, these things are crap. They're right in the same vicinity, like a field, built up area. But around your town, they're not much cop. So with a bit of luck, the new diamond uh, RH771. Yeah, should do the job. There you go. Uh, what if it is in Japanese money? Th yen. 3,550 yen. Um, 2 dB gain it reckons. Maximum. Oh yeah, maximum is 10 watts. Which is good. That's all I'm licensed for. Um, I think it was 18 inches long. Can't read the Japanese on here. Yeah, I think it's 18 inches long. We saw... Measure it and find out. A bit dark in this field, just dumped all the bags from last night. Getting back late. It's about 15, 15 inches long. So if you are thinking about getting one, I recommend it. God, this radio still feels very light. Um, I know the performance is fine. I've seen people use them. Two people I know with Balfangs have got these. Uh, one's got them on his car and it bends up over his windscreen, um, but it still works. I can't open the repeater, the local repeater from here with the handset. So hopefully, looks like a little footprint on it, on the wall. So hopefully I can open up the local repeater. See if we can uh, do it from the house. One, two. Uh, Mike six, Charlie Tango, Papa testing for connection. <laughs> yep, that's a uh, three UB. Couldn't open it at all. With the old handset. And then WR. It's picking up WR as well. Um, but I couldn't get them at all. Outside, I was walking around the garden before trying to. Trying to open them up. Uh, sometimes I can receive them faintly, but I can't open up the repeaters at all. So that's working in the house. So obviously that's working. Yep, yeah, that's it. Quick video. Just came in. Chuffed the postman's been. Nice to get a quick postal service from, um, obviously, Hong Kong or wherever it's from. Um, yeah, eBay. I won't put a link up. They're not hard to find. Oh, it looks like they didn't pay for postage. That must be the import tax where they, they sting you. Obviously, this one got through the net. Right, all the best, 73s. Well, you, well, you have to take my word for it. Just been out in the garden. Uh, I've got Wooten Bassett. It's not too far from here, but uh, the old antenna. Couldn't make the trip at all. Uh, just been told uh, Radio 2, Radio 3, I think. No signal. Um, but again... The old antenna wouldn't have made that trip at all, even with my dipole up on the mast. I can't normally get up there from uh, my home location. Uh, I've just tried two local repeaters, opened them up crystal clear outside, and they're both coming through. Audio is Radio 5. So there's a big difference with that thing. When I was out in the garden before, uh, one of the two local repeaters I could just about hear, and the other one I couldn't hear at all. Um, so obviously I had no chance of getting into them, couldn't open up the repeaters. That thing is blinding. Um, Open them up, no problem. Um, yeah, fantastic aerial. Definitely worth the money. I think even if I did spend what eighteen, twenty pound from the UK. Um, but I think it was Roger, or Dell, or no Wayne, maybe Phil. I don't know. I'm no good at names. Can't remember what it was. But whoever weren't boss, weren't Bassett, just gave me radio shake. Cheers for that. And uh, that's the antenna.